So this is what I made. Obviously it's us moving from New York to Buenos Aires. Very easy when you actually think about it. I still can't believe it. Guess what I made? It's based on a true story actually. This is Max sleeping. This Poco looking at him and then this is us staring at another room. <laughs> the only reason I drew Max bigger today is because he's having a rough day. He's having a rough day. You know, he's not feeling too well, so he got the biggest. <laughs> he got picture. the biggest. So we finally made it into the cultural center in Recoleta. This is literally my favorite place to go to. We've been meaning to go here for like a really long time. And we actually tried to come like 45 minutes ago, but they were closed until 1.30. I think they were doing like a big tour or like a field trip or something in here. But every time I come here, I'm so happy. There's so much to do and see. And like, if you are a digital nomad in Buenos Aires, this is a great place to work. It has AC in it. It's so pretty. It's like a really good working, co-working environment. And there's even a cafe bar section where like you can get drinks or you can get some food if you want to. Um, it's so peaceful here. Like this is definitely my top five favorite place they come to in Buenos Aires. It's so peaceful. Like I cannot stress that enough. And we're really happy we came in here right now because there's so much AC and it is so hot outside. I think we were outside for maybe like two hours. Granted, it was at like the hottest point of the day, like 12 o'clock, um, but it's so hot out there. I don't know how I'm gonna do it in summer, guys. I really, I don't know. I really don't know. When we went to the cultural center, they were giving out these agendas is what they called them. But for me, I'm like, this is a poster that I'm able to hang up on my wall. So I grabbed it, I'm gonna hang it up in a little bit. But on the back, you can see they have a bunch of like things that are going on there throughout the rest of the year. And even going into next year, wow, they have so many things going on, it's crazy. I really love it there. I know I've talked about it so often in this video, but like I've met people here who said they have not gone there like people from Argentina who have not gone there like it is so beautiful there last year when we went there we couldn't go on the second floor but we went on the second floor this time and they had like a whole dance free studio there they had lounge chairs they had a co-working space they had so many things it was so beautiful and even Michael was like I may go there and do a little work if I have some time and I really want to because the co-working space was just so nice it was so peaceful you have to go there, you really do. If I were to give you one thing that you have to do in Buenos Aires, I would say go there. And Michael and I are just gonna stay in for the rest of the night because we were out for five hours today. I think we're gonna order in dinner. I think we're gonna get pizza. We're not sure if we wanna get Hell's Pizza or Sabaro Pizza. If you've watched any of my previous vlogs, you would know that for us, those are the two pizzas that look like exactly and taste exactly like, okay, I don't wanna say exactly, but like pretty darn close to New York pizza. The one thing we haven't found here though is a New York bagel and that's hurting my soul a little bit but also as you may know we got a little craziness going on because Max had an accident in his crate last night which I won't go into details about so we had to wash the blankets in and around his crate and we do have a washer in our unit but we don't have a dryer but I'm so surprised by how quickly things are drying in this place we have a drying rack that we use and like for the bigger stuff like this we've just been hanging them on the doors and literally they will be dry in like five hours it's getting hot right oh yeah it's getting hot I'm actually about to hop into the shower because I am so stinky, sweaty, gross today after being outside for so long. And I feel like I don't have any big major things to update you guys on. But one thing that's kind of in the works for my family is that my mom wants to come down to Buenos Aires. I have not seen her since June when I left New York. We talk like almost every day on the phone. And I don't talk about this a lot on my channel, but like... I have my beautiful, lovely family here of Michael, Max, and Poke, my pets, but it's also really hard like only being able to speak to my family through video calls and through phone calls. So we're trying to make it so that way my mom can come down 
soon but you know it's a lot for someone to come down so i really hope that we're able to make that work but i was thinking about this and i decided to tell you guys because i'm kind of in a fortunate position if she does come down because there's like a few things i would want her to bring down and one of them is being cat treats because i cannot find the cat treats that polka likes here like we've given her so many and she just hates them all another thing i would want to bring down <laughs> this is sounding so silly but specific good dog toothpaste for Max because we have toothpaste here for him but he has stinky breath and he really needs a stronger one and the one fun thing I'm thinking about buying in the U.S. and asking her to bring down is a Kindle. As you know I've been reading I've been kind of back in my reading era and I think that at night I would love to read more but like for me I need to have my glasses on and I need to have like some type of light and I hate turning on like a big bright light when I'm about to go to bed so I'm thinking that if I were to ask her to bring down a Kindle maybe I could read at night and I could make the font big and I could actually enjoy it but for me like I love holding a paper book in hand there's something about it that literally puts me so in the reading groove and for me like I love being off of the phone off the computer because I'm looking at a screen all day through work so I'm a little bit hesitant if you have a kindle or if you've used one before and you're like me if you love a paper copy please let me know down below like how's that working for you and I know I could buy a kindle here but like technology here and electronics are just very expensive and I would prefer to get it for a cheaper price new so that's like the little dilemma that I am in like deciding between if I want a kindle or if I want to just continue to read on paperback it's it's kind of a difficult decision for me I'm not gonna lie to you I'm really not gonna lie to you <laughs> Today we decided to go to Onse and we've been meaning to go there for a really long time. Michael's been wanting to go into the train station there and I've been wanting to go to like the flea market thing. I don't know how to describe it. I don't know what the name is, but like if you go to Onse on the weekends, I know some of you have recommended this to me too. There is like just flea markets, people with so many good deals, so many clothes, like there's so much to do and see and buy, but it is really, really really crowded and we went there and we didn't really know what we would buy i know i wanted a sweater and we went there and there were just so many good deals like i just can't really express how many good deals there were and a big thing for us from coming to buenos aires like we really didn't think we would be able to buy clothes for a good price and there are better prices now than what we remember last year but going to this flea market it was just like a great reminder that like okay like there are some really good prices in this street on Onse on the weekend and we were really happy with what we bought so with that being said we have a little haul i'll let michael go first okay well no no, no. go first and then also tell them what you were looking for on the way i got these 100 percent genuine <laughs> Real. Nike's real authentic authentic Nike slide straight from Oregon I just I just don't want to put my shoes on every single time I go outside so that's the only reason I got these I wasn't actually looking for slides but Chanel said I should look for some I was looking for really just a messy jersey that's the only thing I ended up not getting because there's just so many messy jerseys you get paralyzed with how many choices you have and like you're comparing and contrasting all of them and they probably just all came from the same source so you're just doing nothing but yeah maybe next time i'll i'll get one yeah and those slides were two thousand pesos then i got a shirt straight from yeah this one's cool yeah i got a shirt straight from miami this was three thousand pesos and it's pretty good quality i think all of the like knockoff stuff now is like pretty good quality when i was growing up if you're getting a knockoff it's like it's very obvious that it's a knockoff yeah yeah, yeah, so there are like a bunch of like knockoff clothes there. Like if you were to go to like a flea market and they they like 
have a shirt that says Nike or slides that say Under Armour, et cetera, et cetera. And it's not real, but like, it looks pretty darn real to me. Like I kept saying to myself, like if I saw someone walking around with those like Under Armour pants on the street, I would 100% think that they were real. And like, honestly, I don't care if it's real or not. As long as it's comfy, I'm fine with it. Yeah, I think that's the more important thing. Like, mm -hmm. all right, real or not, there are some things that fake shirts do that you could tell it's fake, but it's just so comfortable yeah. that I don't, I don't care. Yeah. That's a big deal breaker. Is mm -hmm. it comfortable or is it not? Or is it not? Yeah. So if like you're looking for real and authentic stuff, this wouldn't be the best place for you. But like if you really don't care or if you just want like some good lounge around clothes or like some good athletic clothes, they have so many awesome great deals. Now let me show you what I got. So, so, so I know that we're going into the warmer summer months, but I saw this long sleeve green mock neck shirt and I honestly, I couldn't pass it up. It's a little bit big on me, like just a little bit, but I really didn't care. It was just too cute to pass up. And it was only 2000 pesos. Be crazy. They do this all the time. I cannot believe that I was able to snag this item. Like I've been looking for this exact thing for so long. Let me show you what I got for 6,000 pesos. 6,000 pesos. Are you ready for this? It is the most perfect, like oversized-ish size hoodie that one could ever want ever. And I went into Onsei today and I was like, I want a sweater. I just need more. I really love lounging around in sweaters. And I was looking, I was like, you know, I want a cream one. I want it to have a hood. I know exactly what I want. And we spent maybe like three hours, not looking for this one specifically, but just looking around. And then literally like almost as soon as we were about to be done on our trip, we randomly stumbled upon this? Be so for real right now. Literally, please be so for real right now. If you see me in this sweater in every single video from now on, even if it's 100 degrees outside, there's nothing I can do. I'm so sorry. Literally, it's so perfect. I'm without words. I'm without words. It's chef's kiss. It's been fun. Today has been a really fun day, but it's been a really long day. Like, we're just really excited to go back to Onsei. Like, we're already thinking about what else we would buy if we were to go back there again. And thanks for spending the day with us. If you've enjoyed this vlog, make sure you like it and subscribe, and I will see you in the next one. Possibly wearing my hoodie. It's very likely. Mm -hmm.